does. Hi YouTubers, you're back here, Chevron, and we're going to be taking a first look review on the new Archtype theme that has been dropped in the OCG called Deep Sea. So by the looks of it, it's going to be a water-based deck due to the fact the picture of the monster is a mermaid. Uh, I don't see why it wouldn't be a water-based deck from the picture, but I guess we're about to find out. It is a level 7 uh, synchro deck, so we could actually be seeing some synchro decks come creeping into the meta, or just casually fun uh, to be messed around with for people who enjoy synchros. Uh, so, a little uh, hash here. A new fish people theme based on banishing appears. So I wonder what that has to do with the deck. Banishing appears. Maybe we have like a new strategy coming along, or just tactic. But we're about to see. So your first one is a level 1 sea serpent effect monster. It's called Deep Sea Artisan. Uh, zero attack and 500 defense. So very small status. Uh, uh, very f small uh, numbers on the attack and defense. But let's see what it can do. Uh, you can only use this card's uh, names. 1 and 2 effects once per turn each. If this card is added to the hand from the deck or graveyard. Reveal this card. Look out your opponent's hand. Okay, so you get a lot of knowledge from your opponent. Being able to look at their whole hand is actually not too bad. And you're not really negging to be able to use this card's effect by the looks of it. you just got to be able to add it. But it really depends on how much adding effects the rest of the uh, archetype has to be able to use this card's effect. And being able to look at your opponent's hand, I wonder if this card actually has... Uh, like, by reading it, it's look at your opponent's hand. I assume they get to shuffle it after the effect resolves. Um, I'm assuming that's how that effect works. I guess it'll be kind of busted if you got to look at the hand until the end of turn, but I'm pre I'm pretty sure it's just until the effect resolves. So, second effect, uh, if this card is special summon, you can send the top card of your deck to the graveyard, then target one level four low or low water monster in your graveyard, except deep sea artisan, and special summon it. But its effects are negated. All right, so that's some that's still a bit of a way they can get more bodies out for their synchro summon play. It's, it's actually it's not always the worst, but it, it seems like it's self mill, so I wonder if the, uh, the other uh, cards in the archetype also mill. Uh, but yeah, uh, you can easily link client, uh, like get to like a link to water monster if they end up having a link uh, monster for this archetype. Uh, but we'll keep reading on. Uh, second one is Deep Sea Sentry. Level 2 Water Sea Serpent Effect Monster, 400 attack, def 2000 um, defense. You can only use this card's names 1 and 2 effects once per turn each. If this card is sent to the graveyard to activate a water monster's effect, you can banish one card from your opponent's hand face up until the end phase. So, I'm pretty sure, uh, like like I said about the first one, after they reveal their hand, they get to reshuffle it, but then you get to banish one. I guess after looking, and when you banish, you know which card you've taken out and what they have left in their deck, or in their hand, but it's only till end phase, so they get the card back. In, uh, so, I don't know how strong and effective that effect will be, but we'll keep reading on for now. If this card is special summon, you can send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard, then target one level four uh, monster, uh, one level four lore monster from your graveyard, except some deep sea sentry, and add it to your hand. So, that whole thing there is the cost of the effect. <laughs> then you get to add it. So, send is mandatory, which is good you can get more stuff in the grave depending on how well this um, deck works with the grave and then uh yeah then adding a card to your hand that also triggers this uh, uh the deep sea artisans effect well uh, uh, with the add to reveal but we'll keep looking on so far the effects aren't too devastating uh it's more messing around for your opponents like it's playing mind games in a way so let's look at the next one we have the deep sea minstrel uh, level 3 Water Sea Serpent Tuna Effect Monster. So this is your tuna for the Archetype. It's 1200 attack, 1500 defense. You can only use this card's names 1 and 2 effects once per turn each. You can discard this card and 1 Water Monster. Reveal your opponent's hand, and if you do, banish 1 card from their face up until the end of the phase. So this one, you actually get to see their hand and then banish a card. But again, it's until end phase, so unless it's like getting rid of a, like an interruption on like your turn i don't see it being too good uh i guess you can pick out hand traps that's actually a big actually a big thing you can think about you going first you pick out hand traps to make sure the rest of your turn round resolves smoothly uh but yeah discarding is not the worst because this card does um do stuff from the grave uh discarding two monsters uh Depending on how well this deck does work in the grave, we'll see how far I can get to with that. Uh, if this card is special summoned, 
you can send the uh, top three cards of your deck to the grave, then target one level four or lower monster in your graveyard, except Deep Sea Minstrel, place it on top of the, or bottom of the deck. So this is, um, I think it's a lot to do with the other card, where if it's sent to the graveyard, you, you get his effects. So you, because this deck self mills, you can choose what you place on top of the deck. Then you can like utilize the effect by milling them to get their effects that way. Uh, so remember, this is probably not the whole arch type revealed. It's like it's just a few cards spoiled by the looks of it um depending on what the rest of the cards can be uh this deck looks like it can actually be fairly fun and just very different to add to the to the diversity of decks we have um currently uh being able to mess around with your opponent's hand is always a, th a cool thing to have in a deck arch type uh so we're here getting to the synchro right now which is deep sea princess prima donna so it has to be one of them so we have a prima donna in this game guys uh so it's a Level 7 Sea Serpent Synchro Tuna Monster. Alright, uh, so at Synchro Tuna, I'm, I'm assuming this deck it might actually get a boss monster that this card will end up going into. That would actually be fairly good for your Synchro um, players out there who have been missing out on... Yeah, because like Synchro is at the moment haven't been getting the greatest support. It's been very based around like your just link summoning with the obviously like we're in the Vrans format with the, the whole link uh, rules and all that. So meta's been very based around link summoning. It's good to see that they're show, um, like been showing some love to like other formats like the previous reveal I did. There was a fair few um, Synchros in there. And then you have this one here too. So yeah um let's get to this guy's effects before i keep going on about that uh you can only use this card's names one and three effects once per turn each you can target one of your opponent's banished cards uh, then take one level four or lower water monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or special summon so another way to get bodies onto the field and uh with the whole ad you can get their effects if there's going to be more cards in the art shop that have an effect to do something when they're added. Uh, so similar to the first one, I would assume that uh, this archetype may get a card that says when it's added from the grave or deck, reveal it then special summon. That could be another uh, strong uh, like key engine this archetype could get. Um, yeah, I would hope to, uh, to like I would hope that this archetype does get a card like that. It would really help with your monster spam and synchro summoning. But yeah, uh, so. So this is a way you can use your opponent's um, banished cards because you do return it back to their hand, but you do get an add. So at the moment you're giving their card back. Uh, so it's not too great right now, um, but yeah, we'll keep going on. Uh, a secret monster that was synchro summoned using this card as material cannot be targeted by opponent's card effects. So that's always good to have. Being able to bring, um, bring on an extra ability onto your boss monster that you're trying to go into. Um, yeah, it stays synchro monster, so it won't work with your link summons or anything like that. But like I said, uh, it's only a small reveal. I don't know if this is going to be the entirely um, of the deep sea arch type or if they're planning to release more. Um, but at the moment, if uh, the, your deep sea arch type does get a um, boss monster they can go into uh, depending on what that monster has passing on effect like this could be actually really good for this arch type so let's look on to its last effect if this card is sent to the graveyard you can target one banish card and then shuffle it into the all right so this here is actually really good um you just uh, if you go first you just make your opponent neg card straight away and because with the pre one of the previous cards you actually get to see their hand before banishing uh because it's in one effect by doing that, you can pick away like a, a like a key card they need to be able to play for their turn. Or say if they brick, you make them brick harder, and you just return that banished card to their deck, and you can it, you can do pretty funny things with this card. Um, I don't know, like it's actually really cool. Uh, I would like to see this deck actually get a, a more stronger support before the release, because I wouldn't be like. I feel like I would have fun playing this deck myself, and I'm pretty sure other synchro um, players out there are looking at this deck going, I hope this deck gets something good, because it looks like it'll be pretty fun. And I've had a lot of people locally say they've been wanting some just water support in general, Sea Serpent, so that they can use older cards. Maybe this can be their key target. Maybe you have maybe Mermaids can combo with this deck. Who knows? Well, but I'm pretty sure uh, Mermaid, Mermaids have effects when they hit Crave. Not 100% sure, actually. But... 
uh, from memory, it's been a long time since I played around that um, those type of decks. Uh, being uh, when you mill, you could get additional effects. Maybe that can work with mermails. Uh, let me know if they can or not. But by thinking about it, that sounds like it would be pretty stupid uh, being able to get effects through that way. Uh, so we have a spell card. Um, this one's called. Deep Sea Aria. Normal spell, you can only activate uh, um, one card with this name per turn. Uh, so, hard ones per turn. Ban banish one um, water monster from your graveyard, then add one level 4 sea serpent monster from your deck. So, again, uh, it will help you trigger the. Um, effects uh, the first one has with when it be, uh, gets added from your deck to hand or graveyard to hand you get to reveal to get its additional effect which is look at your opponent's hand um like i said it would be good to see more cards from this art shop that has better effects um say like even like going second style like reveal pop of special something pop a monster that could be pretty cool or pop a card but uh, you don't want to go too crazy i guess because you don't want to make a card deck too busted but i guess we have a lot of busted decks right now so i don't think it'll matter too much but yeah uh, that seems to be the last card um let me know what you guys think about this deck and any combos that i just don't know about that you could be using with this um arch type at the moment uh it looks kind of standard they don't have the most overly overpowered effects um with the synchro monster the shuffle back is actually really good on um, your opponent's card because they don't get it back. But depending on what the rest of the arch type has, if it doesn't have like any interruptions or any like really hard monsters to get rid of, uh, there's not much they're doing apart from just messing around for your opponent's hand. But there could be more support. But we'll find out when we get closer to this deck's release. And um, but yeah, um, that is me done for this deck. Uh, please let me know uh, how you feel about this arch type and what are your plans for it when it comes out and what you're hoping to see uh, to be added for this arch type. And if you enjoyed this video, please uh, subscribe and leave a like. That would help me greatly. And you guys will be definitely see be seeing me next time. See you guys. <laughs> Jungle does.